Blackjack is one of the most fun and beloved casino games of all time. The rules are easy to learn, and with a little basic strategy, you can get the house edge down remarkably low. If you want to learn more about how to play this card game, then stick around. We'll start from the beginning and go over everything you should know. Before we go on, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. That way, you'll always be the first to get expert tips and catch the latest from the industry. At its core, the blackjack is very simple. The objective is to beat the dealer's hand by getting as close to 21 without going over or having a better hand than the dealer. Sounds easy enough, right? It gets a little deeper the more you learn about side bets and strategies, but let's go over the basics first. We'll start with the cards. All number cards are worth their face value. For example, a 4 is a 4, so a 10 and 4 would total 14. The king, queen, and jack all count as 10. The ace is a bit of an oddball since it can be a 1 or an 11, depending on the situation. There are specific terms in the game that you'll regularly hear. A soft hand is one that has an ace. Think of it as a flexible hand since you can use the ace either as a 1 or an 11. A hard hand is one with no ace, and therefore its value is locked. When a hand has an ace and a 10, it's known as a natural blackjack, or 21. If anyone goes over 21, it's called a bust, and they lose. A push is a tie, and no one wins or loses. Now that you understand how the cards work and know a little of the lingo, let's move on to how the games play out. First, everyone at the table places their initial bets. Then each person receives two cards, including the dealer. The player's cards are dealt face up, while the dealer has one face down and one face up. The dealer's face down card is called the whole card. Once you've looked at your hand, you can decide your next move. And this is where the fun begins. Depending on your cards, your options are to hit, double, split, surrender, take insurance, or stand. To hit simply means you'd like another card. Doubling down is when you decide you'd like to double your original wager after seeing your initial hand. Be careful though, because this move means you only get one more card and won't be able to hit again. Splitting is an option if you're dealt a pair, such as a 6 and a 6. This requires you to double your wager and literally splits your hand in two. The dealer puts an extra card on each split hand and you play them each out separately. Surrendering is when you think your hand has very little chance of winning and you want to cut your losses. This move allows you to sacrifice half your bet instead of losing the whole thing. There are two types of surrender, early and late. Early allows you to get half your bet back whether the dealer has a natural blackjack or not, while late surrender only works if the dealer doesn't have a blackjack. The type of surrender permitted depends on the table rules. If the dealer's up card is an ace, and you feel that their whole card is a 10, giving them a natural blackjack, you can take insurance. You must wager half of your initial bet, and if you win, you get paid back 2 to 1, meaning you break even. Sounds tempting, but the truth is, you will lose 2 out of 3 times. It's known as a sucker bet because, let's face it, those are terrible odds. Finally, when you're happy with your hand and want to take no further action, you can choose to stand. After everyone has played through their hand and has either busted or is standing, the dealer plays through theirs. They must follow the table rules to ensure the game is played fairly and consistently. Then the wins and losses are determined. You can get through a hand by only hitting or standing, but each of the other moves has times when they are statistically advantageous, except for the insurance bet, of course. That's where skill and strategy can really drive down the house edge. Luckily, you don't have to memorize the appropriate action for every situation. In the link in the description below, you'll find the cheat sheet our team of experts uses when playing blackjack. Download it on your phone to know what to do with each hand. Another helpful strategy is to manage your bankroll. That way you don't run out of money too quickly if you hit an unlucky streak. Feeling a bit more confident about the game? You're probably ready to take a seat at the felt. Don't worry if you're a little nervous. Blackjack tables are laid out in a pretty self-explanatory manner. Players sit on one side, the dealer faces you on the other, and you will find the rules written on the table. They explain what a natural blackjack pays out, what the dealer hits and stands on, what the insurance bet pays out, and the maximum and minimum you can bet. If you find yourself getting bored of the classic base game, there are hundreds of variations out there. Some have different side bets, while others have entirely different rules. Online casinos are a great place to look for new and exciting versions. Plus, they frequently hand out lucrative bonuses and perks. Not to mention, you never have to leave your couch. Regardless, some people are die-hard fans of the land-based casino experience and prefer a physical table. Live Dealer Studios can provide a happy medium. Now that you've learned about the rules, strategies, and gameplay, are you ready for your first two cards? 
the best way to get better is to practice. So sign up at one of our recommended casinos and play blackjack today. If you're ready to start playing and winning, visit OnlineUnitedStatesCasinos.com for the best reviews, latest promotions, tips, and recommendations of the online gambling industry. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.